In this video I am going to be talking about Atomos Ninja 5 recorder and audio sync issues I have experienced. I have been using Atomos Ninja 5 recorder for about a couple of months and I'm absolutely over the moon about the, with the functionality, how good the picture is uh, using as a monitor, how good the recording is, the S-Log from my camera into the recorder is significantly better and easier to color grade. The ProRes format is so much easier to play in Premiere on Mac, especially even with the color grade in full quality. It's, it helps my workflow, so it's a great recorder. But since I got it, I've always had an issue with audio being out of sync. And if that's, it does the audio from the internal microphone or the camera to use as a reference audio when I'm recording the audio separately, or even if I'm recording with a different mic directly into Ninja 5. I wasn't sure if the delay is caused by a different types of cables or a length of the cables I'm using, uh, or is it just basically delay between the camera and recorder caused by HDMI. I'm recording most of my audio externally. So I rely on audio from the camera to be to be good enough to be able to sync with the externally recorded audio. But occasionally I want to have the audio in the camera good as well as the external audio. And occasionally I do record, like now, with a mic plugged directly into Atomos Ninja 5, which is above my camera. So very often I find myself trying to fix the audio sync problems even before synchronizing the audio, external audio to internal audio. When I'm recording ex um, audio externally, I rely on a microphone built into the camera, which audio goes through HDMI cable into Atomos recorder. But when I record directly to, to a recorder, to Ninja 5 recorder, I use two different types of mics, and um, which are Rode video mic connected via 1.5 to 2 meter long uh, cable with mini jack at the end of it uh, and shotgun mic connected with the XLR cable into XLR adapter with a mini jack which goes straight to Ninja 5 recorder. So two different types of cables. Uh, I'm gonna test if there is a difference in audio sync on, on these. So let's just jump straight into my test. All sound delay in my test was measured by comparing visually place in which the clapperboard would make the sound with the actual audio waveform. Soundtrack was then moved by correct number of frames to match the video. And this is audio from internal microphone built into the camera, uh, sent via HDMI with a picture into the Ninja 5 recorder with no audio delay set on the recorder. Clap a board test. Video Mic Pro plugged directly into the camera and a sound and picture come via HDMI cable into the Ninja 5 recorder. Clap a board test. And that's the sound of clap a board falling apart. Video Mic Pro plugged directly into Ninja 5 recorder with no delay set in the recorder. Clap a board test. Rode VideoMic Pro going through a long cable into the recorder with no delay set on the recorder. Clap board test. This is testing the shotgun mic plugged into a two meter long XLR cable into XLR to mini jack adapter. Clap board test for syncing. No delay in audio recorder, in the video recorder. After doing those few little tests, it became very obvious why the delay is happening between the camera and the Atomos recorder or between a microphone and an Atomos Ninja 5 recorder. So it's obvious that one connection causes only three frame delay and two connections cause four frames delay, audio delay. So for example, you are connecting your camera with a HDMI cable to the Atomos Ninja 5 recorder, just one connection, and that delay is gonna be three frames. I'm using Sony A7S II. I presume this is gonna be exactly the same with all cameras. 
So example of two connection, you connect your microphone to the camera and then the camera to your Atomos Ninja 5 recorder. Two connections, microphone cable to the camera, camera to the recorder, the delay is gonna be four frames. And connecting a shotgun mic into XLR cable and into XLR to mini jack adapter to plug into Ninja 5 recorder, two connections, four frames and so on. Solution is very simple. Firstly, you can connect your microphone directly to your Atomos Ninja 5 and that gives you basically three frames delay every single time. All you need to do is adjust your recorder to delay audio recording by three frames using two connections, two cables, to change it to four frames delay. Or alternatively, even simply just do exactly the same thing as I have done on my test and use the clapper board or just clap hands on any talking footage and adjust the audio by three or four frames in edit. I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button now. If you didn't like it, click the dislike button twice and don't forget to subscribe. Click on the bell button to get notifications of my future videos and see you next time.